This is David with Rocket City Solar, and I'm here with this DIY battery system that I am assembling. I've got seven of these packs sitting in this rack on top of a Life Power factory built battery that's at the bottom. I am having to rebuild these packs to make them work with my system that's going to have an externally mounted BMS. I've got a BMS sitting up here on the top. I'm going to have that connect replaced with a, a larger BMS. The problem with these Dolly BMSs is, is that they have a lower charge current than their discharge current. And a 100 amp BMS would actually work okay with this, but I'm going to be needing to charge this with more than 50 amps. This 5,000 watt unit here could put out just over 100 amps. So if I need to recharge this pack, I'm going to need to be able to be putting in around 100 amps into this pack. So I have stepped up to their 200 amp unit, which has a 100 amp charge capacity. I've got it connected to a breaker over here that will allow me to disconnect this pack independent of whatever else is happening with other batteries. I have connected sense leads you know, these wires coming off of each of the positive terminals. I would say that you should connect the sense leads to the positive terminals that are inside each pack before you finish assembling these batteries if you're going to make these because I had to figure out how to get these plastic covers off to connect the sense leads. So this is part two of this build and Right now I'm waiting on my new BMS to be shipped in and I am working on connecting the sense leads up. I'm going to have this cable connecting to the sense leads and I'm going to feed that up onto the top of the rack to feed that into the BMS that will be sitting there. All together this battery pack should give me between 14 to 15 kilowatt hours once it's finished getting assembled. All right, well, that's it for this installment. Again, this has been David with Rocket City Solar.